welcome to another WinFlat tutorial. My name is Arna and we're looking today into load balancing on Mikrotik using the PCC method. PCC stands for Per Connection Classifier. This method divides the incoming data using the Mongol facility into streams and then uses routing rules to sort the traffic across multiple WAN connections, guaranteeing us that everything that comes through a certain WAN port goes out through the same port. And now you may ask, what the heck is Mongol? Mongol is a firewall function within RouterOS that allows you to create a mark which is then associated with packets that can be identified later by other functions like firewall rules or routing tables. It's simple, stable, scalable and has no side effects. Our setup for this tutorial includes two simulated ISP connections which allow us to create a setup with two ones. Like you can see, the Cisco on the left is mimicking one ISP, the Mikrotik to the right is the second ISP and the center Mikrotik is the device we will be working on. The Mikrotik is blank and has no default configuration so we can start fresh. Now let's begin. As we start fresh, our router is absolutely blank and we need to specify the IP addresses for two WAN interfaces, which will be on Ethernet ports 1 and 2 on the Mikrotik and also create a local LAN network bridge, which we will use for our clients connected behind the router. We will also specify an IP address for local network, which will be the gateway for our clients. IP addresses in place, we have to create a set of masquerading rules, one for each WAN port to masquerade the local network behind the WAN. And now that we have created our masquerading rules, the real work can begin. We are going to create a set of Mongol rules containing routing and connection marks with the ultimate goal to divide the traffic into streams and to denote through which one port an incoming packet has arrived and ensure that the router responds to the request over the same one interface. Otherwise, the remote client might receive the response from the other one interface, an unknown and unexpected IP address, and discard it.
we have a Mongo rules in place, it's time to specify the default routes, one for each one interface. Please specify your gateway according to your ISP. Also, please check the gateway using ping, specify the distance for prioritizing and don't forget to specify the routing mark. time to specify the DNS settings for a router to be able to go to the internet. I like to use open DNS servers but you can use Google ones or the ones provided by your ISP or specify your own ones as long as it works. And now let's quickly create a DHCP server for a local network so my testing client gets an IP address using DHCP. First, let's test which IP address I have for the moment and let's refresh that to obtain a new IP address. So now let's check all settings again. Everything looks good. So now that we have an IP address, let's test the connection and make a speed test. As you can see, I have a live connection to the internet, I'm using the Ethernet port 2 for the moment. if we disconnect one port one if we still have connection see the route is unavailable and now let's do a second speed test and we still have connection and we are using the Ethernet port 2 again which is our second one port cable back in and disconnect the one port 2 to see if we still have connection. See the one port 2 is unreachable as the gateway is not available anymore. Everything looks good, we are still alive and we are using the Ethernet port 1 fully for the third speed test. That's about it folks for this tutorial, I hope it was easy to follow. For further explanation about the specified rules, please visit my website, the link is underneath this video. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button down below to help us out. Until then, bye bye and thanks for watching.